what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys we here we got the channel the danish dream with 11 reasons danes don't like you um gonna be interesting uh, i just came across his channel uh just the other day and i was like oh i gotta check this out this might be an interesting one here so this is what we're here with so y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his channel he's almost to 1k uh it seemed like he got some interesting videos like videos i probably should have watched before i went and visited denmark myself so uh we're gonna check a dane's guy to avoid pissing off the dane many danes <laughs> are so out. averse to talking to strangers of course the danes didn't like that it's very hard to guess danish in this video i will tell you the 11 main reasons why danes might not like you or, in other words, which 11 things really piss off the Danes. <laughs> what the hell is your problem? In general, uh -oh, Danes are cool-headed, friendly, and calm. But certain things can trigger them into yeah. passive aggressiveness towards you or straight out outbursts of <laughs> anger. To avoid both, you need to watch this video to the end. This video will help you navigate Danish culture more smoothly, whether you are an oh expat trying to integrate or a tourist just tourist. trying not to anger the locals. <laughs> so let's get started. My name is Steven Højlund and I'm a Danish Steven national Holland. born, raised and living here in Denmark. So I know a thing or two about what triggers the Danish emotions. The easiest way okay. to piss off a Dane is Don't to be late. <laughs> In Denmark, being late is a sign of... I feel bad because my, my wife is that way. Like, Mind you, places that we go, it's either starting late or not. She do not like being late. I don't like being late to a certain extent, though. It, it just depends. Like, If I'm running like two or three minutes late, I know late is late, but two to three minutes, it's probably, it's probably just now getting started. But like 20 minutes late or something, that's different. That way to piss off a day is be that to late. be late. In Denmark, being late is a sign of disrespect of other people's time. Mm -hmm. And even worse, Danes yeah. might bucket you as a laggard or an unreliable mm -hmm. person altogether. <laughs> uh -huh. Luckily, the unwritten rules are quite simple. First of all, be punctual or be 15 minutes late at the max. At the max, yeah. And if you say, I was about to say 15 to 20, 15 to 20. Um, I mean, yeah, it's. I guess it depends on what you're doing. It's hard sometimes to not be late. If you really cannot make it on time, then write a text message or in Communication due time. is so, key. Like, say, 15 minutes at least before. Likewise, if you're inviting Danish people over, expect them to be on time. That okay. means that you have to be ready at the time you mentioned in the invite. So right. if you said, come around at 7 o'clock or 7 p.m., Danes will be there at 7 p.m. Let's say you are invited over you take by your, your shoes Danish friends. Off. This is the perfect opportunity for pissing your new Danish <laughs> friends off in multiple ways. It starts in the door. One certain way to piss off your off. Danish hosts are by not taking off your shoes. Danes hate when someone just walks straight into their home without oh, yeah. shoes on. They have just spent the whole day preparing their perfect home for a perfect evening and now dirt is being dragged in. I see I remember early on like because uh, I had to I had to learn that too because I thought it was it was interesting early on. I didn't get to go in nobody's house when I was in Denmark but uh, yeah I, I don't I, I probably would have remembered make sure I took my shoes off. Or if I even did. worse your danish hosts recently had their wooden floor sanded and now you ruin it with your high heels making oh, yeah. small dents and marks how to avoid this situation that's pretty easy just ask so you have on clean socks it okay to wear heels or shoes inside generally it's okay to wear shoes if it's a party where everyone is dressed up like the new year's party for example and you have like sort of matching shoes yeah. with your tie and uh, you know, the penguin. But most important, you just have to ask in advance and don't forget to do that. You can also bring some extra okay, indoor okay. shoes and that's also fine. So how okay, shoes? you got the shoes right and haven't been asked don't to brag, yeah. just yet. But you can still mess it up in so many other ways <laughs> when you're meeting up with the Danes. Danes really don't like people that are full of themselves. In Denmark, Thanks. humility is key. Danes value modesty and we have a saying don't think that you're better 
than us. Uh, which is the essence of the Ten Commandments in the Law of Yende, which you might have heard about. Yente. The Law of Yende was coined in the book by the Norwegian writer Axel Sandemosen, a refugee crosses his own tracks, or crosses his tracks, from 1933. Mm. This saying or phrase is used to denote a social attitude of disapproval towards expressions of yeah. individuality and personal success. I know for me, I I don't like people that brag either. It's, like you said, you gotta show that humility uh, no matter what stage of life you're in. Because some people can be up, some people can be down. Um, you know, life is a roller coaster for sure. But yeah, I don't know. It do so to me when people just brag, 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 brag. And it's like, why? <laughs> Axel Sandemose used it to describe the narrow minded culture of a small Danish fisherman's town, but it was mm. so descriptive of the Danish and Scandinavian egalitarian cultures that, and maybe also unambitious cultures, that it still lingers on and is used as a reference today. One example of this is the Danish millionaires. Even though entrepreneurs and Norwegian uh, people often publicly like to denounce the law of gender, it's still uncommon to show off your wealth in Denmark. Yeah. Millionaires and old <coughs> definitely money not in here. Denmark will definitely not here in the states, man. Whew. You gonna see a nice car, nice. Car. I ain't gonna lie. When I was walking the streets, uh, probably Sweden. I probably seen the most when I was in Stockholm. I seen the most expensive looking cars uh especially or be expensive uncommon to see in the states at least the the many i've seen i've seen some very nice cars will often be very modest about it and sometimes you won't even see danes with money stand out in any way from the crowd mm -hmm. so if you come across as bragging or overly confident in denmark it will be seen as arrogant yeah Danes don't care much about your job title. They care about whether you're a decent human Good being or uh, and yeah. if you're interesting. So focus on building genuine con connections rather than flaunting your resume. The trick here is to be understated and let your actions speak for themselves. That will gain yeah. you the respect from the Danes. This brings me to my next point. Don't be superficial, be genuine. Don't be superficial. Danes can spot a fake from a mile away or some kilometers yeah. away. Danes are not easily captivated by an impressive story of success or promises of gold at the end of some rainbow. Danes <laughs> value authenticity and honesty Gotta in be their real. relationships. If you're trying too hard to impress, it's likely Danes will pick up on it very quickly <laughs> and it won't go down right, nah. so well. So just be yourself. In fact, a way to show authenticity is to speak openly about a challenge in your life that you are mm. dealing with currently. That will give you immediate points with the Danes and who knows, maybe the conversation might actually be a little bit more interesting while talking over some of these challenges that you have. Danes don't like okay. beating around the bush too don't much. Say things you don't if mean. you say something, you better be sincere about yeah. it. The Danish culture is direct and so is the language. If you ask a Danish person, how are you? The person will start answering the question you. in a genuine and thorough manner. If you show no interest in hearing the answer, a Dane will think, uh, why did he bother asking the question yeah. in the first place then? And I think, as I, I mean, here in the States, you say, how are you? Somebody say good in the conversation. You know, um, that, that's just what I'm used to. Cause I somebody will be like, hey, hello. I'll be like, hello. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? You know, sometimes they will say, how are you back? Sometimes they won't. Um, but you, it's something you just get used to down here. Or worse, just why is this person thing. not reciprocating my openness towards him? Once I had this American coworker who always asked me this question in the morning. Soon after I started telling him how I was, uh, he would simply interrupt me, stating that he had to go to a meeting or something, and then walk off. <laughs> Dang. Well, needless to say, we never made friends. So, <laughs> to most Danes, it's very rude to first ask someone to tell a personal story, like, how, how are you? And then walk out showing no interest in hearing the, uh, the answer to this yeah. quite personal question. Other meaningless English niceties that you should avoid uh, is the phrase uh, we should do this another time as sort of a <laughs> nice phrase to say when, when you're is another time. 
if the Dane agreed to the statement that it was actually nice and you and he he wants to meet you, he will start looking in his calendar for a vacant yeah. time some months <laughs> into the future where you can actually meet again. So uh, be careful there. Danes are straight shooters. Do what you say and say what you what do. You do. Yeah. Danes don't like if you chomp your food. Chomp you know the noise it makes if you chew on your food with your mouth open? Danes don't like that sound. Yeah. And you only make matters worse Dude, if I definitely you try don't talking like that, huh? with food in your mouth. While this is probably the same everywhere. in many cultures, it might not be equally frowned upon by all. So that's why I thought I would include it in this video yeah. as well. So <laughs> close your mouth, don't talk. Close your mouth food. when you're eating. Things like their public space, calm the, and predictable. Public peace. They like to mind their own business uninterrupted. Therefore, you should not move close to a Dane in public space <laughs> unless there are no other seating options. Danes really... I'm telling you, here in the States, somebody would do that. Like, because we they do it with parking. It would be uh, plenty of parking space. And mind you, I'd be parking far just so I can walk, uh, you know, trying to get my steps in or just so somebody won't hit my car. But people still manage to find a way beside me. Like it's crazy. They value their it's personal a crazy space. thing. Thinking about it. Also, don't be loud. Danes are not extroverted and excited in public, and they talk a monotonous language with little intonation. Loud in so class. So you will stand out if you are loud. <laughs> Americans are probably among the loudest tourist nations, <laughs> I would say. But since Danes are yeah, we talking on speaker and stuff. See, I try to be good, and if I'm on the phone. I try to at least have my AirPods in or even just like talking quietly. Some people are like, you can hear their whole conversation. Not even that you like, they got the person on speaker loud in public place. I, I don't like that either. Like, I'm not trying to hear your conversation. What is being said, it's even though it'd be funny. It's kind of entertaining to just listen in on the conversations. So Americans just keep on chatting. <laughs> Danes hate when you interrupt their conversations. It's, considered very rude and intrusive to mm. interrupt a conversation in Denmark. This is actually a problem because Danes are not good at ending their conversations and starting <laughs> other conversations yeah. with the people in the groups around them at a party, for example. That makes it difficult for newcomers to the party to join in and integrate in conversations at the party. There's nothing else you can do rather than wait for the conversation to be over or gain the attention of the most extroverted and socially intelligent Dane who might then include mm. you into the conversation. This might also be the host um, person. Honestly, Danes are very bad at mingling and sometimes I would <laughs> advise you just to interrupt the conversation uh, even though you might get the looks because otherwise yeah. you, you will not break through the rule. <laughs> if you want to really piss off a Dane, no, the then rules. don't follow oh my the God. biking rules. Hey, I almost got hit in Sweden. I, I, I was good in Denmark. Um, that's because, I don't know, in, in Denmark, they... It was just it was just well designed. Let's just say that it was well put together. Like I knew what I was doing by the end, by the time I got to Denmark. So I think I made that mistake just being in Sweden because I was walking. That was my first time uh, just going around. And yeah, that was my mistake. But yeah, that Things would make people angry. Calm for sure. and composed even in their cars and in the traffic. But if you stand in the way on the biking lanes, they don't take it lightly. Especially jaywalking on the bike paths will very mm. quickly earn you looks and maybe some shouting as well. It's time well spent to understand the biking rules and make sure you don't walk into the ongoing traffic. Danes don't always follow the rules themselves, so you will <laughs> survive, I'm pretty sure. But now you I know try to follow why the they are shouting at you. Danes don't like if you critique Denmark. While it's Danes are Denmark. critically minded and can absorb some overall criticisms towards their mother country, the royal family, and maybe the taxes, mm -hmm. there are limits. After a bit of poking, you will most likely experience that most Danes are very proud of their country. Yeah. And in their point of I view, would be, Denmark I like is Denmark. sort of superior to most like of the countries, it. the best country in the world. Therefore, it will piss off a Dane if you <laughs> decide to go all in on criticizing the country altogether, especially if you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So be gentle with the Danes if you have <laughs> some 
truth to speak about Mother Denmark. Danes find it really strange um, Danes, if you Danes don't speak eventually. Danish after having lived in Denmark for 20 or so years. Danes know that their language is hard to learn and they also know that there aren't that many good reasons for actually yeah. learning it. So they are okay with the fact that you don't get to speak it fluently right after landing in Copenhagen Airport or maybe even five years down the road. However, if you haven't made the effort and still don't speak Danish after say 10 or 20 10 years, plus years, then you're just playing out ridiculous to a Dane. So <laughs> what do you think? Are Danes too sensitive? Write it in the comments below. If you're planning a visit uh, to Denmark or moving here altogether, I highly recommend my two videos. The first one I is what about the bike lane. About <laughs> yeah. Denmark and the Danes, and the other one is 10 reasons of not moving to Denmark altogether. You can find the videos where Denmark. You can also subscribe to the channel if you want to have a notification next time I make a video. Maybe you learn something, maybe you won't. At least I hope you enjoyed this video. You stuck this was around nice. to the end. So I will just say until next time, take care. Yeah, yeah, make sure y'all subscribe. Yeah, make sure y'all subscribe. I'm gonna subscribe too right now. Uh nah, this was good. This was good. Don't wanna piss off the Danes at all. But somebody said you're so spot on. Don't treat people from Jutland as if we are from Copenhagen. Our reaction would be brutal. <laughs> Oh, make sure not to do that as well. But nah, wearing a stupid American hat indoors pisses off Dane. I ain't gonna lie, I I, I wore my hat. Y'all see, I got it on now. Uh, I just like my hats. I I have to buy some new hats and stuff like that. But like somebody was like, uh, take that hat off. Keep wearing that hat. Take that hat off. But it was because I don't know what was going on, but my hair was doing something when i was uh in uh copenhagen but other than that i enjoyed it so all right somebody if i would have watched the bike path thing i wouldn't mess that up but that was in sweden so we won't talk about that but other than that hope y'all enjoyed it like i said subscribe to the danish dream hit that subscribe button on my end send out more recommendations and y'all be blessed be the best to be you i'm out